You'll hear it all the time, and I'm telling you it again. The price tag on a home is not the cost. Before you buy a home, make sure you have cash for closing costs. Welcome to the Red Desk. Got a little carried away there, but I am deadly serious. In this episode, I'm going to tell you what to expect when you're expecting to close on a home. Because if you understand and plan for them, closing costs don't have to be the scary part of the process. <sighs> you know what's actually scary? Being caught off guard by a big old bill. ordered an $8 burrito on an app and ended up paying $20 by the time it got to your door? Then you know what I'm talking about. So many layers of guilt. Just like a carnitas burrito. A house also comes with some added cost. Delivery? Tip? No. Fees, fees, fees. It's a common mistake new home buyers make when looking for a home. They overestimate what they can afford and underestimate how much it will cost them. See, your down payment isn't the only cash you need to buy a home. The total balance you owe, that's the cash to close. It's the true cost of that burrito, the delivery service fee, and all. So here's the deal. Closing costs can make up about three to 6% of the price of the home. Here's a simple equation for you to use. Multiply what you're bidding on a home by 1.06 to get an idea of what your total cost will be. Okay, so you know how much you're paying, but what are you actually paying for? Good question. Before you sign on the dotted line, you'll be given a closing disclosure. It's basically your bill. Fair warning, the next section might seem like a lot, but don't get overwhelmed. Knowledge is power and I wanna make sure you've got all the info you need. Expect to see the following listed on your closing disclosure. An application fee, can't avoid this one. There's no refund, even if you get rejected. Then there's the appraisal fee. See, appraisals determine what the home and property are worth. That way, the lender knows how much to lend and you don't overpay. Okay, so depending on where you live, you might pay an attorney fee too. I know. If you live in any one of these states, you'll need to get an attorney to drop the paperwork for your title transfer. There's also the closing fee. This one is paid to the escrow company or the attorney who conducts your closing meeting. And a courier fee. You might not see this one, but it covers the cost of transporting mortgage documents. Then there's also the origination fee. It's what your lender charges to set up the loan. Definitely gotta pay that one. And lastly, Credit reporting fees. These cover the cost of pulling your credit report to take a peep at your score and history. Get all that? We're not done yet. There's one final chunk of change. Your escrow funds. Escrow funds are a bit different. You still need to pony up that money at closing, but it's not a fee. It's actually your cash. Your lender will keep your escrow funds in a special account and use this money on your behalf as part of your regular mortgage payment. Once you've got the disclosure in hand, don't be afraid to nitpick the costs. It might like seem rude, but this is a big purchase and it's your money. Now that we made it through all that in one piece, let's talk about saving those dollars and cents. There are a few ways you can make sure you are paying as little as possible. It might seem obvious, but shop around. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Why is a mortgage company telling me to shop around? Well, look, like any long-term relationship, it's important to see what's out there before settling down. You know where to find us. Number two, check for duplicate fees. When you receive your closing disclosure, don't just glance at it. Go over it line by line. Look for duplicate administration fees. These extra and often unnecessary fees usually have nondescript titles like processing fee or funding fee. If a couple of fees are very similar, negotiate with your lender to exclude one. If you're buying in a buyer's market, lucky you, your seller might be willing to help you cover your closing costs. That's a win-win situation for you and the seller. 
You get to pay less at closing and your seller gets a faster home sale. And that's it. Short, simple carnitas. Comfortable with the details? Ready to sign on the dotted line? Make sure to check out the rest of the Red Desk episodes for details on the rest of the steps in the home buying process. At the very least, start crunching the numbers on what you can afford with Rocket Mortgage's Home Affordability Calculator. It'll help you narrow down your Rocket Home search. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you want to check out more Red Desk videos, click right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.